Hey guys, thanks for stopping into Mina's Kitchen. On this video tutorial, we are making my most favorite comfort meal of all, beef pho. We Thais call it Gua Thil. Originating from Vietnam, pho, being delicious as it is, spread like wildfire in Asia, then to the States. Most Southeast Asians prefer to consume pho when temperatures are cool, typically in the morning hours before working a grueling long day of farming. Its tantalizing broth takes time and patience, but is the essential element to this noodle soup. Rice noodles and beef provide the sustenance, and the various fresh herbs and veggies add color and are full of wonderful fragrances and aroma. The condiments can be customizable to an individual taste. Traditionally, pho broth needs to simmer on low for about 68 hours, but here in my video, I'll be using a pressure cooker to speed up this process. Not only is it quicker, but it tastes just like it's been stewing away like the traditional method. Make a lot of broth and freeze it in containers if you have any left over. Typically, a pho bowl is large, but Westerners do not be intimidated if you see a petite Asian person take it on like it's nothing. They have been conditioned to eat this way as a youngin, and I can attest to this. Make whatever size bowl you feel comfortable with, as long as the noodle to broth ratio is one cup of noodle to two cup of broth. In this tutorial, we will break down each step for you to follow. So continue watching and learn how to make some beef pho, yeah! So let's go over all the ingredients we will need. Four servings of rice noodles. Pre-soak the noodles in a bowl covered in water for an hour. One serving of rice noodles is equivalent to one cup. Four to six beef bones. If you can't find beef bones in your grocery store, see if the butcher has any in the back. Water, just enough to fill the pots. Two onions. One knuckle of ginger. Pho spice pack. You can find a pho spice pack in any Asian market or online. It contains cinnamon sticks, star anise, cloves, fennel seeds, cardamom, coriander seeds, and a spice bag to throw it all in once it's toasted. These spices are the essential ingredients into pho broth. I would not skimp on these. One tablespoon of salt. One tablespoon of sugar. And for your toppings, thinly sliced beef, fish sauce to taste, hoisin sauce to taste, sriracha to taste, chopped cilantro, chopped fresh green onions, onion slices, bean sprouts, coleslaw mix, mint, basil leaves, lime wedges, fried shallots. And now for our preparation steps. In a stock pot on high heat, add in your beef bones, then add in water to cover the bones. Turn down to medium high and boil for eight to 10 minutes. You will see the meat on the bones turn from red to brown and scum come up to the surface. You can remove the scum using a spoon. After you're done boiling, remove and drain. Rinse the bones with cold water. This will ensure our pho broth stays clear while cooking. Remove the cinnamon stick, star anise, and cardamom from the pho spice packet. Toast them in the pan first since they take the longest. Toast it for five minutes on medium high heat. On a side note, I prefer using the pho spice packet over the spice cube because I like to control the sodium level in my pho broth. The spice cubes can be a little too salty for my taste. Then add the remaining spices from the bag, the coriander and the fennel. Stir around the pan once you start to hear the spices popping and become fragrant. They will darken slightly and you can remove from the pan. Carefully pour all the spices into the included spice bag. I use a cup to mount the bag for ease of pouring. Tie the spice bag securing all the spices.
Slice ginger into equal size strip. Place them into a foil lined pan. Cut up onions with skin left on in half. Add it to the tray with the ginger. Set your toaster or oven on broil and toast them for 15 minutes. They should be a little char when done. Prepare your toppings. Cut lime into wedges. Cut off and discard the tips. Chop green onions. Cut off the stem from the pre-rinsed cilantro, bend the leaves over, hold tightly, and chop finely. Turn the knife parallel and chop. You can chop this as finely or as coarse as you like. Rinse the mint leaves and remove the leaves. Remove the char onion and ginger from the oven and set aside. And now for our cooking steps. Using a pressure cooker, add in beef bones, add in the onions and ginger, and your spice bag. Pour enough water to cover all the contents. Place the pressure cooker lid on securely. Follow your manufacturer's instructions. Every pressure cooker is slightly different. Set pressure cooker heat on high. Once the topper starts steaming out and you hear it hissing and whistling, it's time to turn the heat down to low. Allow to cook for an hour more. Remove from the burner and rinse the cooker with cold water before opening to equalize the temperature. Using a colander over a stock pot, pour the contents out. At this point, you can keep the meat off the beef bones and discard everything else. Set your broth aside, slice white onions thinly, slice as much or as little as you like. Put it into an ice bath to keep it crisp and cause the onion strength to become subtle, then set aside. Grab the sriracha and the hoisin sauce you can put it on the table like such, or grab a sauce dish. These are the two essential sauces commonly used in pho. So here, I use the meat off the beef bones and cut them into bite-sized pieces. This is optional, but a lot of pho restaurants like to include this. The meat is nice and soft and tender. Now it's time to assemble our magnificent colossal pho bowls. First, we'll cook the rice noodles. Divide per bowl about one cup cooked. Parboil your cabbage and bean sprouts. Set aside and heat the beef broth on medium-high heat. In a small strainer, add your thinly sliced beef, about three to four slices per person, and cook it into the beef stock. Remove it quickly once you see the beef change color and add it to the individual pho bowls. In the beef broth, add in your salt and sugar, then stir. Once it gets up to a rolling boil, about seven minutes in, remove the fat from the top using either a spoon or an oil-absorbing paper. There's a store in California called Daiso that sells this. It makes it a lot easier to remove the oil. But if you don't have one, that's okay. Using a spoon works well too. After removing the oil-absorbing paper, pour your broth into your bowls, enough to cover the noodles. When you are ready to serve, allow your guests to choose their own preferred toppings. Customizing is the best thing about eating a hot bowl of delicious pho. Add as much fish sauce, poison, sriracha sauce to your heart's content. You will know when it's right. Squeeze a little lime to bring the flavors all together. 
The options are limitless, so be brave and try as many variations as you like. Why not make it your own? We know for sure, haha, get it for, that you will enjoy this popular Southeast Asian favorite. Let us know what you think in the comment box below. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up and we'll have the full recipe and other recipes on our website link in the description box below. We love it when you share our videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe for future video notifications. Catch you later guys, bye bye! For more information about this recipe or others, please visit our website. You can also find us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram. If you like this video and want to see more, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time!